This is the Marvel Multiverse RPG Core Rulebook, and today we're going to be talking about why the animal bond power is absolutely busted. It's a broken ability. I'm surprised that I haven't heard anyone talk about this in the Marvel Multiverse RPG community yet, uh, but wowza. Uh, recently, if you've watched my recent Marvel Multiverse RPG content, then you know that I have been trying to figure out how to create one of the like most busted rank one character builds in the game. Not only have I been trying to figure out how to build these, but I've actually been like playing them with my friends. I haven't recorded any sessions yet. Not everyone likes to be like on camera all the time. You know, some people just want to relax and chill and play a game. But I have talked about my experiences so far playing with some of these builds. Uh, specifically as a narrator, uh, having like players play different builds. Uh, but goodness, is Animal Bond just wild. Uh, the reason why I focus so hard on rank one character builds is because rank one is like bottom of the barrel. A rank one character is considered like a rookie. You very recently got your powers and now you're going out into the world for the first time as like a superhero kind of thing. Rank one is like origin story territory for these characters. But the stuff you can do as a rank one character is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> like, for you to be a rookie, uh, you can just do like really crazy things, but Animal Bond might be the craziest thing. Um, and I'm sure there will be people who are like, no, it's not, there are much crazier powers, but we'll get into it. Maybe you tell me by the end of this in the comment section below uh, what you think is like the craziest power and why. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Why Animal Bond is a Broken Power Animal Bond, which you can find on page 82, is a power that allows a character to communicate telepathically with one animal of their choice, and said animal will often do whatever the character asks, even if it puts said animal in danger. This is a power that can be selected multiple times to establish bonds with other animals, and this power has no prerequisites. A rank 1 character could select this power four times and control an entire team of animal companions. A rank 6 character could select this power 24 times and control a small army of animal companions. Animal companions who are integral parts of the story must have character sheets made for them, as dictated on page 304. Imagine a rank 6 player arriving for a session with literally 25 character sheets. They essentially can dictate what like 25 different characters will be up to during your session. Wild. I'm going to prove the following about animal bonds in the Marvel Multiverse RPG. Animal bonds can be formed with aliens. Animal bonds can be formed with creatures from alternate Earths or dimensions. Animal bonds can be formed with highly intelligent creatures who can understand human language and even show signs of human intelligence. Animal bonds can be formed with creatures of a higher rank than the player character they are bound to. Animal bonds can be formed with creatures who possess more powers than the player character they are bound to. And animal bonds can be formed with imaginary friends. Uh, all this and more. <laughs> Stay tuned. Wild. Absolutely crazy. So, animal bonds can be formed with aliens. Moon Girl is listed as having an animal bond with Devil Dinosaur, and Devil Dinosaur is listed as an alien on page 52. This implies that player characters can form animal bonds with aliens. We just have an example of it in the core rulebook with one of the characters pre-made by the creators of the game. Animal bonds can be formed with creatures from alternate Earths or dimensions. Moon Girl is listed as having an animal bond with Devil Dinosaur, and Devil Dinosaur is described as being from an alternate Earth on page 159, and is described as being from an alternate dimension on page 208. This implies that player characters can form animal bonds with creatures from alternate Earths or dimensions. Because again, we just have an example of it in the game with one of the pre-built characters. Animal bonds can be formed with highly intelligent creatures. Moon Girl is listed as having an animal bond with Devil Dinosaur. Devil Dinosaur is described as highly intelligent on page 208, as showing signs of human intelligence on page 159, as understanding human language on page 159, and as being capable of following complex plans on page 159. 
This implies that player characters can form animal bonds with creatures who are highly intelligent, can understand human language, and are capable of following complex plans. So if you originally looked at the animal bonds power and thought that, oh, well, that's just like something Squirrel Girl does, and she has like a little squirrel that she can talk to or whatever. Keep in mind that the alien doesn't have to be from Earth. It doesn't have to be from this universe. It doesn't have to be from this dimension. And it can be like a incredibly intelligent creature. <laughs> it doesn't have to be uh, what you would see as like a animal that's like not quite as smart as people. It, it can be a highly intelligent animal with like human level intellect that's not of this world. Uh, so you can get pretty wild with the animal bonds, but we're not done yet. Animal bonds can be formed with creatures of a higher rank than the player character they are bound to. Moon Girl, on page 208, is listed as having an animal bond with Devil Dinosaur. Moon Girl is a rank 2 character, while Devil Dinosaur is a rank 3 character. This implies that player characters can form animal bonds with creatures who are one rank higher than them. Because like we've said this whole time, we just have an example of it in the game guide. Meaning a rank 1 character could potentially have 4 rank 2 animal bonds. Uh, which, we'll get into how crazy that is soon, but let's keep rolling. Animal bonds can be formed with creatures who have more powers than the player character they are bound to. Moon Girl is listed as having an animal bond with Double Dinosaur, and Double Dinosaur has 11 powers, while Moon Girl only has 6 powers. This implies that player characters can form animal bonds with creatures who have more powers than they do, uh, which again is crazy. Uh, I've been talking a lot about what if a character has four different animal bonds kind of thing. I think you're starting to see how if your animal bonds can have like a whole power set all on their own, uh, that things can get really crazy because now you have one player who's playing with like all of these different power sets because the animals that they're bound with will do whatever they say. They now have the ability to be like, okay, you go fly over here, do this. You shoot like an energy blast over here. You know, they're essentially the leader of just a whole super team at this point, uh, which is crazy. But you also don't even have to do that. You can, in a similar situation of like Moon Girl and Double Dinosaur, just have one animal bond with like a pretty powerful animal bond while also still having like the rest of your powers be whatever you want. Uh, so as a rank one character, you can have one animal bond and then like any other set of like three powers that are applicable for your character, uh, which again is pretty wild. You could definitely do crazy stuff with that. Um, I, I just don't know what to say. It is absolutely insane, but it gets crazier than this. Animal bonds can be formed with imaginary friends. And I know that sounds weird and nonsensical and it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, that was redundant of me to say. <laughs> but you may be wondering like, who cares if you have an animal bond with an imaginary friend? Imaginary friends aren't real. Well, let's jump into it. Moon Girl is listed as having an animal bond with Double Dinosaur. And Double Dinosaur is described as being from an alternate earth. What ifs are alternate Earths in the multiverse that exist because anything you can imagine or dream is real in a universe of its own, as established on page 273 of the Core Rulebook. Imaginary friends are essentially just denizens of alternate Earths in the multiverse where they truly exist. This implies that player characters can form animal bonds with creatures from their imagination who have traveled from an alternate Earth to the setting of the adventure. So now we're getting into even crazier territory because a player as a part of their character's backstory can be like they had this imaginary friend that they used to play with when their character was like a kid, but that imaginary friend actually existed in another universe which fits within like the rules of the like core rulebook. And then you can say that the imaginary friend eventually came to the player when they were like in adulthood traveling across universes to like meet up with their creator essentially wild <laughs> wild um there's so much you can do with that because now you're not limited to just like existing aliens 
that are like you're aware of in the Marvel multiverse or existing animals that you're aware of in the Marvel multiverse. You can just be like, I made one up and it's fine because what if Earths are just based on made up stuff anyways and now they're here with me and they're super strong because that's how I imagine them to be. Uh, so let's get a little more in depth with this and talk about how strong is Animal Bond at rank one. Because again, rank one is super important. Anything you can do at rank one that can be heavily abused can be abused even more so as you continue to rank up throughout the game. So let's say at rank one, you decide to pick Animal Bond four times and that each animal you bond with is a rank two animal from an alternate what if earth that you made up, giving you a lot of control over the capabilities and backgrounds of these animals. This would mean that you have 32 powers at your disposal, since each rank two animal who will often do whatever you ask them will have eight powers each. There are 300 plus powers in the Marvel Multiverse RPG core rulebook. This means at rank one, you can essentially have a number of powers equal to over 10% of the total number of powers in the entire game. Keep in mind that your squad of animal companions would be at the same rank as street level characters like Daredevil, Moon Girl, Agent Phil Coulson, Bullseye, Dora Milaje Warriors, Echo, Elektra, Hawkeye, Mysterio, Nick Fury Jr., Okoye, Red Wolf, Titania, Vampires, Vulture, White Tiger. That was a lot of characters to list. I believe that's actually exactly 16 different characters. Your animal companions at rank 1 would be as strong as 16 different characters that are in the core rulebook they'd be able to rival those characters not to mention and I didn't even think about this I didn't even write this in the blog I just had a brain blast what keeps your animals from having animal bonds this is this is dumb <laughs> this is dumb so if you think it's bad that you can even have one animal bond that's like one rank above you or whatever. Imagine that, but like now that animal for all of its powers have animal bonds and then all of its animals have animal bonds and then all of its animals have animal bonds. By having it be a power that has like no prerequisites that anyone can have, and then by making the animals have like full character sheets where they can have like full stats and origins and powers and everything like that, you have now created an exponential just floodgates open situation where you can walk in at rank one with like a thousand character sheets because your only powers are animal bond and then all of your animals... Who, and you don't even have to give all of your animals animal bond for all of their powers, right? Because I will say, what's the point of that? What's the point of all of your animals just only having animal bond? Oh, gosh. It's really bad. It's really bad when you think about it. Imagine a rank two animal has an animal bond. Well, if you're able to have an animal bond with an animal that's a rank higher than you, then couldn't your rank two animal have an animal bond with a rank three animal? And then couldn't that animal have a bond with a rank four animal? And then couldn't that animal have a bond with a rank five animal? <laughs> and then couldn't that animal have a bond with a rank six animal? See where I'm going with this? At rank one, <laughs> you can essentially just have this crazy cascade where you have maybe only one animal bond. You're only bound to this like rank two animal. But because that animal has an animal bond who has an animal bond who has an animal bond, you're at rank one with like a crazy set. Just a cra like all the homies show up. Because all you have to do, because the animal that you're bound with will do whatever you ask, and then that animal 
has control over other animals that will do whatever they ask, so on and so forth, you can go down the chain and be controlling essentially a rank six animal. <laughs> like you can go up the totem pole super hard and you're rank one. You're rank one. There's no rule that says that animal bond can't be held by an animal. Ugh, uh, I just thought of that, by the way. That's not written here in the script. Um, but I think you can see what the problem is, right? I think after all of this, after all the stuff that I've been talking about, you can vibe with your boy and see how animal bond is such an easily abused power. Because any power that essentially just gives you another character is kind of broken, let alone another character who's just like a higher level than you, like a character who's just literally a higher rank than you. It's just a broken ability. Um, I like it though. I don't think they should get rid of it. Will they? Hmm. Well, I have a playtest rule book and I have a core rule book. Uh, so it looks like we're not in a playtest anymore. Uh, I wonder how people would feel if they like eroded this power or changed this power. I don't know. Um, I also have noticed that this book really doesn't want you to clone yourself. There are powers that kind of let you create like magic illusion doppelgangers. Uh, and it's like the doppelgangers can kind of trick people. But once they do anything, they're revealed to be fake, like a shadow clone thing. Because I think they purposely don't want it to be like a, and now you have all these different character sheets for all these different clones that you control kind of thing. But Animal Bond? That's fine. For having as many character sheets as you want, I guess. Wildin'. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, logging out. Peace, guys. Chicken a bow.